We are less than two weeks into the new year and already there's been a rash of car thefts and break-ins. Police tell us images like this are becoming all too familiar across West Michigan. And at the rate already seen, we're in pace to more than double last year's break-ins. 13 on your sides. Nate Belt joins us now live with the latest. Nate. Yeah, Juliet Val, uh, even in a well-lit parking lot like this one, you can see it's getting dark out, but you can see the cars pretty well, well-lit, crowded. Even here, you could be in tr trouble and at risk for a break-in. Now, the sheriff's office says it has seen thefts happening at all times of day, a rise in thefts that they call dramatic. We're only 11 days into 2023, and the Kent County Sheriff's Office says there have already been 26 stolen cars to date, along with 34 larcenies from cars. If this were to continue through the remainder of the year, there would be a significant increase in comparison to last year. Significant is the right word, with last year's total of 471 larcenies on pace to be shattered, with over 1,000 this year. And it is extremely frustrating. And they're happening at all times. Even as we talk right now, we have, we have an active investigation going on because there was a car that was broken into uh, about 10 o'clock this morning. This is the smashed window left behind from that break-in on East Paris Avenue. So what makes your car more susceptible to a break-in? Location is part of it, with specific areas where people leave cars for extended times seen as targets. Workout facilities, retirement homes, medical facilities, that kind of thing. Officers say you shouldn't leave things sitting out either. And they're looking and specifically targeting vehicles where they see something that may have value to it. Even if it has no value, a thief won't know that. They just assume, grab it and figure it out later. So putting it in your trunk or glove box can help prevent that break-in. Now that break-in that happened on East Paris earlier today, the suspects described as two younger men who uh, left the area in an SUV. The sheriff's office still looking for those two. Uh, they fit the bill as what they say most of these larcenies happening are between uh, the suspects ages between the ages of 14 and 17. Reporting live in Grand Rapids, Nate Belt, 13 on your side.